in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum to all. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. May Allah bless you. Welcome to Virtual Learning System of Pakistan International School, Taif. Dear students, our first chapter is the human body. I hope you understand this chapter very well. Now, today we are just discuss the facts about the human body. Here you see the picture of human body. This is internal organs, eyebrow, eye, ear, arms, hand, leg, knee, foot, chest, stomach, mouth, nose, forehead. So these are the internal part in present in your body, okay? Now, th the first one, the first fact is if anyone asks you the which one is the largest organ of the body so you must be remember the answer skin is the largest organ of the human body which one is the largest organ in the human body skin is the largest organs of the body Second one, which is the largest internal organ? If anyone asks you which is the largest internal organ, you say liver is the largest internal organ are present in human body. What is the main function of the liver? The main job is liver is to filter the blood. Liver is responsible to filter the blood of our body. So which one is the largest internal organ in the human body? Liver is the largest internal organ are present in the human body. Total number of muscles are present in the human body, 630 plus. 630 plus muscles are present in your body, okay? Keep remember, how many numbers of muscles are present in human body? 630 plus muscles are present in the human body. Which is the, la which is the hardest bone in the body? Your teeth. In your body, your teeth is the hardest bone. If anyone asks you, which is the hardest bone are present in the human body, you say, Teeth is the hardest bone in the human body, okay? Keep remember, which is the hardest bone in the human body? Teeth is the hardest bone in the human body because it not break easily. It's very, uh, it's strong. So, teeth is the hardest bone in the human body. Number of ribs. How many numbers of ribs are present in your body? 12 pairs. 12 pairs means 12 bones in that side and 12 bones in that side. So 20 total number of bones is 24. But the pairs means one in this side and one in this side. This is the one pair. This is a second pair. This is a third pair because the same bones are also come from that side also, okay? So this is a fourth bone. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So, how many pairs are present in the ribcage? 12 pairs are present in the ribcage. If anyone asks you, how many numbers of ribs are present in your body? So, you say 12 pairs are present in the human body. How many numbers of bones are present in your arm? 30 bones are present in your arm. How many bones are present in your arm? 30 bones are present in your arm. If anyone asks you how many numbers of bones are present in your arm, so you must remember 30 bones are present in your arm. How many bones make up our whole skeleton? In the lecture, I told you before, 
206 bones are responsible to make up our skeleton. How many bones are present in our skeleton? 206 bones. Okay, you keep remember 206 bones make up our whole skeleton. How many bones make up our whole skeleton? 206 bones. Next is, which type of blood cells help our bodies to fight infection? Which type of blood cells help our body to fight infection? If any type of germs are entered in our body, or try to enter in our body, so which type of blood cells are start fighting against this germ? White blood cells, we call WBC. The red blood cells are BC or number C both red and white blood cell so which one is the correct answer white blood cells are responsible to fight against the germs which one is responsible to fight against the germs white blood cell we also call WBC so when any type of germs are tried to enter in our body so WBC active and they start fighting against these germs so if our immune system are strong, so our WBC is strong, okay? So if, and when we are ill or if any type of germs are present in the atmosphere, so if, if our WBC is strong, so uh, uh, germs don't, fire, don't uh, uh, give us any type of disease. But if the WBC is not strong, so maybe the, uh, the germs are entered in our body and we will be ill. So WBC are responsible to fight against the germs. Here I show you the picture of joints. Before I also uh, share the picture of ball and socket joint, but here I see the internal structure of ball and socket joint. So ball and socket joints are present in your shoulder and plus your hip. So this, uh, their shape is like a joystick. If you play a computer game, so you know the shape of joystick. So ball and socket joint shape is like a joystick. This is the shape, okay? Second is sliding joints. Sliding joints are present in your hand, okay? So uh, this type of joints are present in your hand. So we call this is the sliding joint. See, this is sliding joints, this type of joint. After the third one, hinge joints, you know that like a door hang, hang or plus uh, flex and plus extend so this type of joints are present in your knee so we call this is the hing joints keep remember the shape of ball and socket joints sliding joints and plus hing joints muscles type of muscles you know that smooth muscles found only in digestive tract and blood vessels walls. Like in, in the smooth muscles are present in your stomach, bladder and intestine also, okay? Stomach shape, I hope you remember. Cardiac, only found in the heart. Only found in your heart, cardiac muscles are present. Skeletal muscles attached to the bones. The muscle system work with the skeletal system to provide movement okay after voluntary muscles move under your control if you want to move so you can move involuntary muscles that move without you controlling them like smooth muscles like your stomach is digesting heart is beating and sometimes and sometimes skeletal like a eye blinking uh, so these type of muscles we call this is the involuntary muscles Tendon, I tell you before, uh, connect muscles to the bones, okay? Tendon, connect muscles to the bones. Ligament, connect bone to bone, okay? This is the main difference. Tendon is responsible to connect muscles to the bones and ligament is responsible to connect the bones to the bones, okay? This is the name of sheet and this is the name of tissue. hands 
there are 27 bones and five fingers in each hand how many bones are present in your hand 27 bones and how many fingers five fingers are present in your hand keep remember how many bones are present in your hand 27 and five bones are present in your uh, hand sorry five fingers are present in your hand the hand is very flexible without lots of joints because lot of joints are present in your hand so it is very flexible and your thumb is more flexible than other fingers so because of joints okay so just to remember that if an, if anyone asks you how many bones are present in your hand you say 27 bones okay keep remember this one how many bones are present in your hand 27 bones legs the human leg consists of eight bones four per legs four bones in one leg and four bones in another leg so eight bones total okay so these this is the femur i uh, told you before in the lecture it's the strongest bone it is very strong bone in our body okay just this one you remember the femur is the strongest bone in your body body and how many bones are present in your in human legs eight bones are present in human leg what is the strongest bone femur it is the largest and strongest bone it provides stability and strength and it is a solid bones okay so we say this is the largest and strongest bone in our body is the longest largest and strongest bone in our body femur good luck students i hope you understand this chapter very well now just you remember all these facts um, it's just for your extra knowledge and if any, anyone asks you you know that about your body so you keep remember good luck best of luck okay